superdelegates conference of the MPP has uh, only left with four days uh, for the special delegates conference to be held across all the 16 regions in Ghana. But then uh, we, we are focused on one key thing uh, during the superdelegate conference that is, after the elections, uh, the party needs five candidates out of the ten who has uh, picked up forms to contest in the primary. Uh, the party needs five candidates and per the constitution of the party, even if uh, there are 50 candidates uh, who have picked up forms to contest in the primaries, uh, they should uh, do anything possible so that they can bring the numbers down to five. So at most, they need five candidates to contest in the November 4th primaries 2023. And it's only left with just four days for the superdelegate conference to be held. And then uh, looking at the elections, a research team based in the UK called the Center for Sustainable African Development Initiatives, that's CSAIDI, that's based in UK, has conducted a survey. And per the survey, out of the 10 candidates, of which we have Dr. Alhaj Mahmoud Baumia, Kennedy Akompre, Kwe Japon, Alan Kodu Tremantin, Joe Gatti, Adeni Mukudu Poku, and all others, uh, out of these candidates, uh, per the survey that was conducted by Center for Sustainable African Development Initiative that is based in UK, per the survey they conducted, uh, Baumia is set to win the elections or the superdelegate conference with 72%. That is per the new research that has been done. Even though the superdelegate conference, the date is not yet due, but then also uh, per the research, uh, it, 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 the outcome of the research means that Baumia has the probability has much probability of winning the superdelegate conference of the NPP party. And again, talking of probability as to Baumia winning the superdelegate conference of the NPP party, they made certain things clear as to why uh, Baumia can win the superdelegate conference of the NPP. Because looking at other candidates in the NPP, there are 10 candidates in all, but then looking at all of them, each and every one of them has the capacity uh, to lead the NPP party after His Excellency Nana Redan Koku Fado. Taking each of them uh, one after the other, looking at Alan Kojo Chermantin, Alan Chermantin is one man who uh, many NPP uh, party uh, is willing uh, for him to lead the NPP after Nana Redan Koku Fado because he contested in the flag bearer elections 2007 and again in 2012 and then 2016 we contested but then all say uh, his excellency nadon koku fado all beat him uh, hands down in 2007 2012 and in 2016 and he's expecting that in 2024 after nadon koku fado had completed his second term in office he would be elected as the next flag bearer of the party and then looking at uh, what he has done over the few years being the minister of trade and industries uh, no one should tell you that he had the capacity to lead the NPP party. Looking at Kennedy Akompre for Japan, he's also, also one guy who many grassroots of the NPP are yelling for him to be the next president of the uh, the next uh, flag bearer of the NPP and subsequently the next president of the Fourth Republic of Ghana. Looking at him, looking at his achievement and everything, everything points out play that he has the capacity because even as an MP, uh, being able to employ over 7,000 people, paying them monthly, being able to own the largest school store in the whole West Africa and in the whole Africa, and all, looking at all these achievements, uh, buying pickups for the par uh, party during campaign sessions and all that, should tell you that there's one guy that if he's allowed to lead the NPP party, he can best lead the party. And again, Dr. Alhaj Mahmoud Baumia, Talking of the achievement of, of Baumia, uh, it's one thing that we cannot deny him of. Talking of achievement, we cannot deny Baumia of that. Because look at that, uh, six years in office, being able to introduce some of policy that is helping the country, like the Agenda 1 project, good for oil policy, uh, one district, one factory, 
planting for food and jobs. There are so many projects that under this governance of Nana Redan Koku or this government of Nana Redan Koku for them, Dr. Alhaji Mahmoud Baumia, they have been able to bring. And all this tells you that even being the vice president, if he has been able to do this for the country, then in being elected in 2024 would prove that he can do much, much better than he's doing now. Because being as the vice president, he is not the president to make decisions on its own. But then being the president, uh, he can take decisions that uh, are going to help the country, even though he's doing his best as of now, that the economy is not being fully restored. But then per the survey that was conducted proves that Baumia per the research found out that the 10 aspirant to the flag bearer position of the NPP, Vice President Baumia will not only be part of the five persons the superdelegate conference will select, but will be a very comfort but will be in a very comfortable lead, beating his closest contender by 64.9 percent points. And looking at this research that has been conducted, uh, I, I quite remember that during, uh, I think, uh, during an election that was held with the NDC, I think uh, they, they, they brought a, a similar survey like this, which pointed out clearly that uh, John Dramani Mahama during the flag bearer elections of the NDC would win the elections by a number of uh, margin. And then after the elections, comparing the, the, the figures and all that proved that the research they made was at least, at least we can talk about it being accurate and all that. But then now, it is with the, the, the main issue is with the NPP as to who wins the elections of the NPP party, that the superdelegate conference, even though it is not the decider of the flag bearership uh, election, that, that's not the decider. Uh, the main purpose of the superdelegate conference is to ensure that out of the 10 candidates who are vying to contest for the flag bearer election, they, 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 they decrease the, or they drop their number down to five candidates, which will go or who will go into the main primaries on 4th November, of which one of the candidates will be elected as the next flag bearer after His Excellency Nana Rodan Kokufara. And according to the research, these are the top five candidates with the, the, the various percentages uh, being put behind them. And then the first one, on the, the according to the survey conducted, the first candidate uh, came out with 72.6%, uh, of which is in the person of Dr. Alhaj Mahmoud Bamiya, the Vice President of the Republic of Ghana. And again, Honorable Alan Kodio Chemantin coming up with 7.7% of the vote. Honorable Kennedy Akonpiokwe Dapon with 4.3% of the vote. Honorable Kwabna Ejei Ejepon with 1.8% of the vote. Honorable Dr. Usu Akotofiye with 0.6% of the vote. 11.7% of the vote. 11.7% of the vote in the special delegate conference are still undecided as of the time of the research. The main basis for assessing candidate by delegates are the vision of the candidate for the party and country and the competence of the candidate. Delegates of the special electoral college believe that the party stands a good chance of breaking the eight if uh, Dr. Alhaj Mahmoud Baumia is being elected uh, as the flag bearer and then if they stay united after the primary the report findings read in part and see uh, there is the update that is coming up from a research team based in the united kingdom based in the united uh, united kingdom the report said that researchers use the quantity research to design and computer assisted technologies for the interviews using the quantity research design data was obtained mainly through computer assisted telephone interview that's uh, technology so this is the update coming out from uh, the NPP and then uh, research team based in the UK concerning the flag bearer elections of the NPP the super delegate conference of the NPP or uh, we can talk about the, the, the special delegate conference of the party as of now as we speak Per the research, it is proven that Baumia, uh, he said to win the elections uh, or the superdelegate conference with 72%, even though the elections have not yet been conducted. It is only left with four days, and we are hoping that uh, as things goes on and as the, the, the elections is being conducted, we follow for every update that comes up 
on this platform and so if you are new on the channel this is uh, what we have to tell you that is to subscribe to our channel then you like comment uh, share and then you you click on the notification bell so that any new update that is being released on this platform you get a chance to have it thank you